first up, we're gonna talk about noise gates. You can add a noise gate to any channel on the Behringer wing. To do so, what you have to do is select the desired channel. For me, it's channel 25, vocal four. And go ahead and press this home button so that you see the home page screen of that channel. What you'll notice is that the third box down on the left hand side says gate. That's gonna be your noise gate. To switch it on, you can use this button here and it'll turn on orange or you can go ahead and press on the gray box itself to get into the noise gate editor and you can go ahead and press the on button at the top to switch the noise gate on. So what is a noise gate? A noise gate is an audio compressor that can control whether or not a signal passes through a channel strip based on a set threshold. So it allows audio to pass down the channel strip based on how loud it is, okay? And how loud it is, is set by this threshold. So you see here's a gray line here. This is gonna be the threshold. Right now, it's set to negative 30. So if there is signal that's coming in from vocal one that is under 30, negative 30, it will not be allowed to pass through and therefore you will not hear it coming out of this channel strip. If it exceeds negative 30 in volume, it will be allowed to pass through and you will hear signal coming out of the channel strip. Noise gates have the capability to reduce sound and allow it to pass through it a near binary fashion, like on off, as if you unmuted and muted something, it's really aggressive and sharp. Um, and if you want a gate to do that on the Behringer wing, you have to pull it over to the gate setting in the ratio tab. And what this is telling me is that if the signal passes negative 30 and passes that threshold, all of the signal will be flooded through. It'll all be allowed to pass through. But if you turn the ratio down, what this is telling me now is that it allows actually some of the sound to pass through here and then all of the sound to still pass through over the top of the threshold. And so anything under the thresholds being dialed back in volume a certain amount, but once it passes the threshold, it'll be allowed all the way through. And what this does is it creates a more gradual sound for us. Um, between when the gate is allowing sound to pass through or when the gate is not allowing sound to pass through. So if the gate is all the way up, the sound's gonna snap on and off. And if the ratio is set to a more gradual ratio, the sound will almost like swell in. Great, so now that we know a little bit more about noise gates, well, let's dive into what they actually sound like and why we would use them. So for this example, we're gonna use the rack tom to talk about a common reason that we use audio gates. And so why would we wanna use an audio gate? Well, sometimes there is signal coming into the microphone that we don't want to come into a certain channel. In this case, we have a rack tom channel. And so what we want out of a rack tom channel is to have a rack tom signal. We're not looking to have any of the other drums come through this microphone. But what you'll notice that as I pull the fader up, you'll start to hear more than just the rack tom. While you certainly do hear the rack tom here, you also kind of hear the hi-hat. You hear our drummer hitting the other floor tom. And you hear the crash coming through. So this is all information that we don't want when we're trying to mix our rack tom because suddenly if we're turning our rack tom fader up to get more rack tom in the mix, we're actually turning up more rack tom and more hi-hat, more crash, and all this other stuff. So we wanna isolate our sound by using a noise gate. So what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna turn the threshold all the way down and turn our noise gate on. Again, you can hear the hi-hat, you can hear the other toms, you can hear the crash coming through there. But as I turn the threshold up, what you'll notice is that the background noise starts to get attenuated. All right, you can still hear the snare. Just a bit. There we go. 
and now it's set at a threshold where we can only hear the rack tom. So that's a practical application of why we would want to use a gate while mixing that is super helpful for us to isolate sounds so that we have more control over our mix.